coding fans here we are um, let's go ahead and take a look at this one and go ahead and initialize our expert and our character just by looking at um, what's where it looks like our experts going to be down here in the middle of all these locks turning these platforms up and down uh, right now the platforms are too low to be helpful and it looks like our character is going to be uh, at this corner right here in the middle on that arrow facing these gyms. Um, so I guess the way that we're going to do this, I like to put all the locks up and then have my character walk around the top. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to write a function later. So I'm going to get a couple lines of code down, hit enter a couple times. Um, and we'll start code, coding a little bit below the beginning just so that I can have room for my function later. All right, so taking a look at this, <clears throat> my expert is going to turn four locks. So that sounds like a for loop to me. So four locks, four platforms, for loop, four times. All right, and in here, I'm going to get my expert to dot. And we're going to use this turn lock function with two parameters. First parameter is up, and yes, we want it to be true. So that's going to be our argument. And it's going to go up four times. And then in order to get all of them at the same time, um, or with the same for loop, we're going to have turn, we're going to have expert.turn right, and that will get all of those up. Turn right. And we'll go ahead and run this. Uh, and, and jump to the next section because this does take a while. But let's make sure everything is where it needs to be. All right, everything is where we need it to be. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the character is going to do. Since all of them are up, or I said it so that all of them are up so he can walk around the top, I'm going to use the gems as an indicator to turn right so that when he gets here, despite the fact that he's blocked, he's going to turn right. And I'll use while is not blocked or while not is blocked so that he'll stop down here at the bottom of the stairs um, at the top of where my map is right now. So we're going to do a while loop. And I want him to stop when he's blocked. So while our character, or not, our character is blocked. And then we're going to go move forward. So character dot move forward. And then I'm just going to have him check a gem uh, check for a gym mainly because so he moves to turns right moves to turns right and then he doesn't move to and then he doesn't move to so we'll just have him move forward checking for gyms and if he is blocked um, so we'll say okay move forward and if character dot is on gym then character dot collect gym we're also going to want him to turn right there because at the first gem, he is indeed blocked. So we're going to have our character dot turn right as well. And that will get our character all the way to those bottom stairs facing that direction. Right. So if we are at the bottom stairs, I want to get our character to turn right, move forward, turn right, and then move one, two, three, four, five to get them on the bottom um, with the blue platform on the right and the orange platform in front of them. So if everything works out right, we'll be standing down here. So our character will need to dot turn right. Our character will need to dot move forward. And then they'll need to turn right again, character dot turn right.
and then they need to move five. So character dot move five. Uh, we want our move function with a parameter five. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this now so that we can see if everything worked out the way it should. Uh, here we are, everything worked out. Um, and we're going to get all these platforms down and then we'll write a function. Uh, so to get the platforms down, it's the reverse of putting the platforms up. So seeing as I've already written code for that, I'm gonna come back and get my for loop. Um, or you could write a function for this, um, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna copy this for loop. And we're just gonna change the arguments. So we'll go paste. And obviously, we want the expert to turn the lock down. So we're going to change our argument from true to false. And they started in the hole, so they need to only come down three. All right. So that will work out. Now, if we notice, our we have a gym two to the right. We have a gym two in front of us, two to the left, you know, so and so. So we can write a function to get this. So I like turn right move to, collect gem, turn around, and move to. So that's going to be my repeatable function. There's probably more. You could use the right hand rule here with the gem counter, all sorts of stuff. Um, but just for ease of use and um, just reinforcing another concept, I'm gonna write a function here. I'm gonna call this bottom gems. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna use some previous code. So turn right and move, we just wrote that. So I'm gonna come get down here at the bottom, or you could you could code it just directly, character turn right, character move, but I'm gonna go copy and paste, turn right and move, that's gonna help me out. All right, they only need to move two. Then they're gonna turn around, um, which is, turn right, turn right. And so I bet if I paste this twice right here, I can get rid of one of these distances and have written a better function faster. All right, two. Um, now you will notice, okay, I forgot to collect the gem, so I need to go back and do this. So turn right, Move to lowercase character dot collect gem. I forgot this in class as well and ran it. Um, so turn right, move to collect the gem, turn around, and then move to. So that is my reusable function. So just looking at this. I can run bottom gems and he'll run back and get this way. Then he'll be where he's standing, but he'll be facing um, to the left with the orange platform on his right. So I can run bottom gems again. And then after that, he'll be where he's standing right now, but facing the exact opposite direction. So he needs to turn right and move too, uh, which is actually what we just wrote. So I can hit paste again and I can change this from turn right to move two. Uh, so turn right, move two, and then they'll be standing with the green platform in front of him and the pink one on the right. Now you just go bottom gems, bottom gems again, and we can run it and that should finish us up.
All right, coding fans, there we have it. Um, not a bad little bit of code there. Um, the hard part was obviously, um, or the long part was obviously in running the code, um, but not bad. There are many different ways to do this. You could run a while loop on the bottom as well. You could run this with a gym counter and right hand rule uh, would be another way to do this. Um, so there's lots of different ways to do this. I might do another video just doing the, showing the gym counter and right hand rule. Um, but right now this, this gets the job done. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.